Right, so I finally did it. I've got a Maserati on my driveway. Amazing. <laughs> so today we're looking at this, the Quattro Porte. Let's see how practical it is. Can I fit all of my children in it? What are the running costs? And what's it like to drive? Let's find out. Welcome to Dad Cars. So if you saw my video on the Ghibli, you'll know how much I love these iconic Maserati side vents. They are amazing. But then on this, the Quattroporte, look at the detail on the front. So you've got this lovely, rounded, classic shape here. But then you've got the aggressive nostrils sticking out from the front there as well. It's almost like two cars in one. I can't stop looking at it. Now I've got a real thing about rear lights and how rear lights can really age a car. And obviously on the new Quattroporte, you've got those more sleek and modern looking um, lights that you find on the Ghibli as well. But in person, you know what, there's something about these. I think, I think they've gone past looking dated compared to the newer ones. And now they actually kind of look really classy and sort of really fit the, uh, the extreme prestigious limousine sort of feel to this car. Oh, straight off, just opening that door, you just tap your finger on it. Oh, it's got a lovely feel about it. You've got to feel it to know what I'm talking about. Sitting in the back of a Quattroporte. Oh, this is lovely. You can smell that lovely high quality Italian leather. Italian cars should have contrasting interiors, I feel. This is lovely. I feel like I'm in Goodfellas. Oh yes. How amazing is this? But look, we need to find out what it's like with child seats in the back, don't we? So let's get on to that. Now, I wasn't expecting these early Quattroportes to have Isofix. It's not signposted here, but it looks like it does. So let's try an Isofix basin. Wow. Would you look at that? That's fantastic. I was not expecting that today. Fantastic. And rear facing baby seat. Look at that. Oodles of space. And then I think if we use my trusty travel child seat, the old trick of the travel child seat in the middle. There we go. And then to really show off the practicality of the Quattro Porte, I've got this big, ugly, massive, belt secured child seat here, which is huge. So yeah, you can fit this monstrosity in here. You could fit any Isofix style seat like this, and click it in there really nicely as well. And then I can use the booster seat in the front seat for my eldest. So I can take all four of my children out in this really comfortably. You know what? I think I'm gonna do just that. I don't want to push the button. Now this is in the back of my wife's X5, an all-in-one, four across. They do a more compact one, which I think would fit in the back of the Quattroporte. And if for some reason you needed to put a rear-facing baby seat in the front seat, you can, although there's no Isofix. It passes the dad car's boot test, but it's not as big as the Ghibli's. Look, Daddy, I found some sweets. Oh, wow, yay. Fantastic. Do you want to go for a drive? Yeah. Yeah? Let's do it. Before we take it out for a drive, let's do a very quick overview. So this is a fifth generation Quattroporte. So these were produced from 2003 to 2012. And it was a completely new platform for the Quattroporte. And by far the biggest. I mean, these are over five metres long. That's longer than a Range Rover Sport. And this same new architecture was used to build the Gran Turismo on, which explains why the Gran Turismo is so huge. These are also very heavy cars, weighing nearly two tonnes. But fortunately, under the bonnet, you've got an incredible engine, a naturally aspirated Ferrari V8, 4.2 litre with this car here, which produces around 400 horsepower, 0 to 60 in around 5.5 seconds, and a top speed of 171. Now this car, being a 2007, it has a desirable six-speed ZF auto box. Earlier cars had an automated manual box. Then from 2008 to 2012, they did a facelift, which I think is most easily recognisable by the LED lights. But the most desirable seem to be the Sport GTSs, which sound amazing. I would love to drive one of those. But someone would have paid for this car here, about 15 years ago, around £80,000. 
and I'll tell you what you'd be able to pick one of these up for today when I take it out for a drive. Right girls, can you see how easy it is to get in the car? Yeah. Come on in. Now, I love a special key for a special car, but a special key, unfortunately, this is not. It feels pretty plasticky. I'm pretty sure that my old Mercedes Vito had a, a key that was just like this. That was actually quite loud. <laughs> right, guys. What do you reckon? Should we go? Yeah. Right, so how's the space in the car, girls? What do you think? How's yeah. this like compared to Daddy's Aston Martin? Uh, loads more space. Loads more space. And do you like the colour of the inside? Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's nice. I know what colour it is. White. Yeah, it's like a creamy colour, isn't yeah. it? I was going to say white. Yeah. Right, so I have got all four of my children in an exciting dad car and we're, we're going off to go and have some fun aren't we yeah, yeah. Film, film a little video wow look this is what it's all about isn't it how great is this this is brilliant oh as the baby starts crying <laughs> sound good it's nice isn't it so let's quickly talk about this wood finish in here what do you think it's, it's, i like it because it's got like the metal over the top of it yeah what well, little metal bits yeah. as well yeah see so daddy would never choose to have a car with uh, like a wood effect finish like this so I, I picked my aston martin with the piano black finish for that specific reason but it has got its own charm hasn't it it's got its its own sort of character within itself and it does fit the car quite well yeah. The it's, it's got sticky. that classic Ferrari Maserati sticky gooey sort of plasticky thing everywhere. So all all of like your buttons and anywhere Wait, that's kind I'm of black soft touch rubber is uh, yeah doesn't age well, does it? Now, obviously, compared to the Ghibli, it, it does feel like an older car. It is an older car. It's a previous generation Maserati, isn't it? Um, right, girls, let's go a bit faster here, shall we? Ready? Oh, oh, the sound of it. The feel, oh, you can feel that engine here. That's the lovely thing about that engine being so pushed back into the dash. You can, oh, oh, it's lovely. What was I saying? Oh, yeah, so, the, so compared to the Ghibli, yeah, the Ghibli is definitely a more modern, more modern car. But that's not, that's not necessarily a, a, a knock on this. Well, I love cars from this generation, you know, like the noughties. Because that's when I first started driving. So, you know, it's cars like this I looked at and sort of would, um, would dream about maybe maybe driving and having one day. Um, so, yeah, I've, I've got a real soft spot for cars from this era. Thank you. Right, let's go fast, shall we? You ready? What do you think? Is that fun? Well, it sounds amazing, doesn't it? So, my channel has only just started, hasn't it? Um, and I really need more subscribers. And I guess the algorithm on YouTube is not really set up for people who like certain types of cars and are also dads. Uh, it's a bit niche. But I know it's a real difference when somebody who likes this video shares it in like a Facebook group or an owner's club or something like that and, um, and then people find the channel that way. So please do share this video. If you like this or any of the other videos, please do share it. Would you like another sweet tea? Yeah. Right, let's use these flappy paddles. Let's drop down a second. Oh, look at that, 4,000 RPM. This is, this is lovely. I really love this car. I cannot get over it, the practicality of this. I've got all four children in here with me right now. And I'm having this much fun. This, oh, this is just incredible. Now look, so these cars, you know, so it's a four door, really practical car with a naturally aspirated, legendary Ferrari V8 engine. A 
And here's the kicker. You can buy these cars for around 15,000 pounds. What crazy value for money is that? I mean, but bear in mind, the average wedding in the UK at the moment is, is costs around 17,000 pounds. I mean, surely you would just get one of these, drive to a registry office, and then wake up the next day and still have this on the driveway. <laughs> this car I'm so falling in love with Maseratis I really really am I mean I'd, I would love to drive like an S-Class or a 7 Series from this era you know one with like a big boy engine just to just to sort of just to feel that comparison because that comparison that comparison is is so often made isn't it but they are just, they've got to be completely different things, haven't they? I mean, I've driven a lot of BMWs and, oh, there's just something that the Maserati does to me. It really speaks to me. And we will never have cars like this ever again. This might be the sort of pinnacle of, you know, true, naturally aspirated, unregulated, unconstrained cars. And also the styling of this as well is just so clean. It's so clean. It's not trying to look super modern and edgy, is it? It's, it's, it's timeless. It already looks absolutely fantastic now. It's gone past the point of looking dated. It looks beautiful. Oh, I love this car. Now, I need to give a huge thank you to the very generous owner of this car, Johnny, for driving down to me today so that I could feature this car. It means the world to me, Johnny. Thank you so much. And what a wonderful car it is. Should we make it go fast? Yeah. Yeah, right, are you ready? Is the baby okay? Yeah. Let's put it in manual mode. Right, are we ready? Are we ready, girls? Yeah, it's gonna go fast. Are you ready? What do you think? Is that nice? <laughs> well look, I mean obviously what is it? It's just it's just over five seconds, isn't it? Zero to sixty. So it's not lightning fast, but look, it's not about that. No way, no way is it about that. Oh, I just can't even explain to you the feeling of this engine. If you've not driven one of these, you've got to. You've simply got to drive one. <laughs> And obviously this is coming from a man who's got a naturally aspirated V12 sat in the drive. <laughs> this engine is fantastic. <laughs> so I've just sent the owner of this car, Johnny, I sent him out in the Aston Martin because he's got to feel that V12. Um, but it's really nice, I mean, the contrast, I mean, that's a Super GT, this is like an executive limousine, isn't it? Um, but it's actually really nice having a, a higher seated position with tremendous visibility all around here. Then you've still got that amazing engine with the, with the character as well. It's just, I'm, I'm enjoying this a hell of a lot more than I was expecting to, and I'm using the flappy paddles now, even though I've got all four children in the back. So, Johnny was telling me, the owner, you're saying that you can get miles per gallon, it's going to be in the teens if you're kind of driving it spiritedly. But on a longer run, you can put it in a more relaxed mode and sort of 31 miles per gallon is achievable. 30 miles per gallon, I mean, that's, that's economical in my eyes. <laughs> Certainly can't get that in the Aston. So if you are going to get yourself a Maserati like this, you should probably set aside a similar amount of money as I do with my Aston, so a couple of grand a year, to cover servicing, maintenance, anything that goes wrong. But if you set aside that money, you know, mentally you've already spent it, it, it should be sort of pretty enjoyable owning a car like this. Give this video a like. Yay. Perfect.
back. Thank you. I have got some very exciting cars, potentially, coming up on the channel. So please do subscribe, guys. Honestly, I'm, I'm not pulling your leg. Subscribe and stick around. I've got some corkers lined up. Look, what's this? The lights, uh, listen to this engine. Does that sound good? Is that loud? That's in there. link to a news article last night. Apparently a British motor insurance company once did a scientific study and proved that the sound of the Quattroporte's engine is scientifically proven to be an aphrodisiac. Now I don't need any more children <laughs> so I should probably wrap this video up pretty soon. No, no pun intended. Oh it's got such a silky smooth pull to it. I wasn't expecting to be using these flappy paddles with four children in the back and sort of enjoying myself as much as I am, but I feel really safe doing it in here. I mean, maybe it's the lovely double glazed windows, which, you know, is so lovely and refined and classy and luxurious and, oh, I'm running out of words to say, if you haven't guessed, I'm a massive fan of this car. You're a massive fan. So in summary then, for the Maserati Quattroporte, if there was a dad car's hall of fame, this would be in it. I mean, it. This is literally the ethos of the channel. Something that you can use with your family that has got a beating heart, the soul of the, this car's engine. Oh my goodness, it's so amazing. Like If you've not driven one of these, you've got to. It's absolutely glorious. And I would definitely, definitely buy one of these when I need the space. It's incredible. Look, thank you all so much for watching. I love the people who are watching it at the end. I really appreciate it. So look, thank you so much for watching. Like this video, because not everybody does. Um, comment, subscribe, share, 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 please. And look, I will see you on the next one. Say goodbye, everyone. Bye. Was it? <laughs> it's own sort of character within itself. And it does fit the card quite well. Daddy film another little, you okay? What? What? What's the matter? What's the matter? What happened? Oh. <coughs> so, so first, no, don't do that, so I can't see. So, it's so hot in here. It is, isn't it? That's that's good timing. That was good timing, wasn't it? I'll just pull it there. Have you done the click? Daddy, can I do that? Four girls? Four girls and a boy. Four girls? Mm -hmm. Four girls. Four girls. Yeah, all girls. <laughs> Same ratio. If you got one, I'd have you got one. Yeah. So you've got home. Oh, that was so great. Was it? I loved it. Well, seriously. Yeah